Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out the full release version of Spiritfarer. This is a, a cozy little management game about dying. I played the uh, the demo of this a few months ago, and I have really been looking forward to checking out the full release version, which is out as of a couple days ago. And we're going to see what the game is all about now. Uh, the, the idea here is we are a fairy master of the dead, essentially. And apparently there will be watery eyes... And uh, among other things, uh, I'm not sure what the other things are, but you know what? You know what I'm trying to say. Let's play the game. This, by the way, is by Thunder Lotus Games, and is over on Steam. It's on GOG as well. GOG sent me the key, and we get a bit of an intro here. Ah, oh, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Sharon. The Spirit Fairer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I'm sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden, then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit bearer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands when they are ready. Bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha, where everything starts. The Omega, where everything ends. This is where all guests get completed, quests get completed, and where existence meets its threshold. There's no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. A symbol of your status here. And the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you? Oh, how highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. So the Everlight will help you throughout your travels. I will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. It, not I. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. Eternity. It is heavy and in inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You'll soon get used to this place, accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit, Fairer, after all. Oh, one thing. Once I'm gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I'm gone. You might find one not too far from here, if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Farewell, Pluto's moon. Okay. And we begin. This is, uh, this does, does have co-op multiplayer, by the way. One person plays Stella, the other plays the cat. Uh, and of course, you can pet the cat. Which, in my experience with the demo, was the, was the greatest part. Alright, let's climb up over here. Find ourselves a boat, I guess. Plus space to jump. Space for higher jumps. Uh, W walking to climb platforms. Okay, okay. 
Yes. And space drop down. Hello. Yes. Uh, e. Interact. Stella. Yeah. Stella. It really is you. Set up straight. Let me get a good look at you. You look good. And Daffodil is here, too, I see. We'll have to find a lint roller, then. Well, I might not be that obvious after all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. But if you're here, it means... Oh, you are the new spirit fair. You are the one replacing Sharon. Is it Sharon or Sharon? I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck in this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Of course. See that boat over there? That's the one. Obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it'll work, since you're the spirit fair. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. Okie doke. To the deck. Hello. Okay, here it goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh yeah, I remember you from the demo. The demo, by the way, is still available on the uh, the uh, GOD page. Wonderful. I'm not uh, one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. And as you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. Once aboard, they'll assume their true forms. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Give her a hug. Yeah. Excellent. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Okay. You're welcome. Huh? Oh, yeah. What's wrong? What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. Beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make a ship move. It's really easily, actually. Yeah, let me give you this key I found on the island. We'll unlock that cabin in the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very meticulously. Go, open up that cabin, Stella. The map projector should be simple enough to use. Just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Okay, let's head on in. After active request, set sail, Captain. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're in the Alt Harbor, I guess. And we want to go up to uh, here, right? Destination. Okay, away we go. Here's my bed. Cozy. Come on out here and oop, out, out uh, this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want? Are you outside? Hello. I understand the ship is powered by your Everlights. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Sharon, the Everdoor, the Spirit Fair, is this place, the boat, me being here? It's a lot. You must be wondering what's going on. Truth be told, I don't really know. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Okay. So a big part of this game is, is uh, of course, we're going to be collecting souls and people and, and having the board our ship. We're going to be building our ship as well, which is sort of the management part of the game. Well, uh, almost like um, 
not base buildy, but almost like, I don't know, Animal Crossing, you know, building houses for your villagers kind of game. But, uh, let's do a little fishing, I suppose, while we wait for Albert. Or wait to get to Albert's Island. Remember, right, we have to sort of slowly reel this thing in without ruining our, our catch. There we go, we got a herring. Uh, yeah, do it again. So this is a very, uh, you know, cozy, relaxing, laid-back kind of thing. Uh, apparently, that's a pretty long game. I was curious as to maybe just streaming the whole thing. Uh, and uh, my stream, I'm having issues with internet, internet issues right now, so I'm not streaming this right now. Uh, but apparently, there's like 30 to 40 hours or so of, of content in here. So it's uh, it's no tiny game. I think it's it's reasonably open, but I think there's a, you know the main quest line. Takes that long to get through. No, no, no. Pull that thing back in. Yeah. We'll, we'll fish one more time, I guess. Can we cancel that? Yeah, yeah. Here we are. Yeah, yeah. We're here. Head down. Okay. There's Albert's shipyard. Go to Albert's. Upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. All right. Let's head on the little boat. Come on, kitty. Let's go. That's the thing in the top corner. It's like a, is it a season thing? Is that what's going on? I think so. Hey, buddy. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fairer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Jaron was unhappy about his gloomy and dark uh, and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right, so I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call it a loan. And let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry, we're still working on it. Oh, oh, oh. he's so funny. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resilient again. First thing you need is a proper blueprint table. Since your lucky day, uh, I'm finally generous. I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's a bit bare bones in its terms of functionality, but the subsequent upgrades will come at a, such a small price, you want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me, uh, direct me to the upgrade the ship. Uh, direct you. Yeah, yeah. Upgrade the ship. Okay, I guess we want the beginner, right? Can I have this one too? Oh, 1200 bucks for that one. I can't afford that. Mailbox for... We can get uh, right to our pen pals with a mailbox, apparently. Icebreaker. You've got a... Uh, um, uh, is that a figurehead of snakes intertwined? That's like Medusa. Okay. It's a medium-sized boat that will make you slip away in styles that we've got. Okay, okay. And obviously we have to have 400 bucks for that, which we have zero, I think. Okay, you'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size uh, and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. All right. Uh, back. Let's head back. Hello. Good. Albert gave you it for free. He said he loaned the ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this deck. Go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back get back the resources. Where's that at? Here? No, that's, that's not it. Where is it? Yeah. Maybe it's over here. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Wait a minute. I think he's messing with me. Is it? Oh, wait, wait. I know where it is. It's right there. It wasn't there, but... Wait. It wasn't there when I played the demo. Maybe it was. I'm just losing my mind. Uh, okay, so yeah, we want to edit, and we want to move... Can I use my mouse? No, we can't use my keyboard. Okay, so I'll use that, and I want to... I just want to salvage it. So, just uh, salvage. Yeah. I'll take the shoes and all that. Wonderful. All right. Uh, let's go back and, and uh, chat with her. Hello. Hey. Did a wonderful job, Stella. The good news is you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary, a necessary amenity. 
or newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep. Not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend one more than one night in there, but it means sleeping on the deck. Stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Okie doke. Now that we know where this thing is, let's build one. Let's build a, um, we want a, a, a guest house. And I'm going to set it, like, right, well, right there. Can I put anything else in there? What else do we have options for? We have nothing materials for any of these things. Garden, field, kitchen, and mis mystery. Okay. Hey. It's done. You don't want to talk? I'll just give you a hug. I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. I didn't want to give you a hug anyway. Check out the new house. Mm, it is very nice. I'll sit on your... Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, you got some rocks? Oh, my cat is my... Hat, my... Excellent. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work, as usual. Now, at least... At last, we uh, have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What's going on? Something else is happening. Oh. I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. You might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as it sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen on board. Pretty sure I've seen the plans in the, for there. Uh, as well as the necessary resources. You require bright jelly. And there's only one way to get some. Hi. Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence. And even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it's always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the ir irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen. Well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. There's no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. It will only appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map. So you can't miss it. I'll take some time to prepare myself. Ominous. Okay. Let's set sail. A dark patch of... of... terrible. Well, there's one right there. Okay, we'll go there. What is all this over here? Crates... Ah, resources. Okay, something uh, up here as well. Let's go to the. Let's go where we need to go. I suppose while we're heading, we might as well, you know, ring the bell and then go do some more, uh, more fishing. While we wait, we got a little, little bit of a travel as we leave Albert. Farewell, Albert. Hmm, more boots. I wonder why he's so happy about, or she's so happy about boots. The cat's playing with the, with the, uh, the Everlight. Okay. Keep reeling in. We're, what, halfway there already? More fish. Excellent. Go ahead and catch these things. I'm sure we're going to need some for our kitchen when we get it built, so we'll get these things out of the way. I think I remember um, having to, like, tug with the fishing from before. We'll do one more cast here. Catch more fish. Oh. Something dark and spooky out there. Okay, let's go and talk to her. Hello. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. It should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out there. Go ahead. I believe in you. Uh, how do we do it? Ah. Just gotta, just gotta hit him. Okay, I can do that. I missed one. Come back! I missed one! Go slower! Ah! Oh, 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 oh! I think 
I remember this. They had this sort of thing in the uh, demo, but it was different. It was like falling stuff, I think. I can't seem to stand. Oh, I can't stand on the roof, but it's hard. By the way, I'm just using Wazzy for all this. this space bar. Big guy. Another uh, green guy's coming my way. Oops, I shouldn't have jumped. The green guy I gotta get. Get the green guy. Okay. Miss a bunch of them. It's okay. Those are just glims, which I think is cash. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Which I miss most of them. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hopefully, we got enough. I don't think we need. Any more? Okay. Really impressed. You rocked out there. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. Without the slightest fear or hesitation at that. Definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. You would gather enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. Patiently waiting. Okay. Let's go. Oh, no, not out here. Not out here. Not out here. Well, let's build a kitchen. There. I need three. We got eight. Um, yeah, one of those, and now this one, it can go, like, you know, this side. We can put it wherever we want. I feel like it can sh be, I think it should be back, back here somewhere. Um, I guess we can put it on the first floor. It's fine for now. I'll put it right there. Okay, so let's go, um, make something. Oh. Hello. You can I use the kitchen's oven? It should rather be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven, wait for it to be cooked. Could even try these loose corn kernels that I've been hanging on around my pockets. Can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Thanks. You want another hug? Alright, um, yeah, yeah. Cook that. That was quick. Yep, I got magical go uh, oven mitts. Wait, can I cook? Um, oh, I don't know how to do anything else other than that. Alright, alright, alright. Wait, I gotta, I gotta pet the kitty. Come here. No, I wanna pet the kitty. Come here. No, it's not working. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Alright. There you go. One popcorn. I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I could have thought it could be. Then again, I've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you'll remember that I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, before I forget, there's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Okay, keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen, in the blueprint table, there is a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow up many different things. And turn this ship from an adorable farm of sorts. It should, uh, into a farm. Uh, you should add a field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it, which can turn to, uh, use craft more things. Building a field, we should grow, buy some seeds to go with it. That'll come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mastine Cove. Something in, on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Okay, Mastine Cove. Let's go. Are you Mastine Cove? You are. Something tells me there's moss there. Now, let's go build a garden. I'd like to build a... Uh, oh, this guy. Oh, I can't buy... I can't make either of them. I need three limestone, which I'm guessing I'll get at the place. Okay. Well, I suppose we'll just wait then until we make our way there. Um, I can make a bit more pop popcorn, I suppose. Who are you talking to? Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert, Albert already. Definitely is a shark. 
but his interest in all things maritime will be helpful, such as the boat upgrades he sells at his outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classic mythical challenges to me. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Mind if I sit on your chair? Hey, look, it's... Look! There's a picture of me on the wall. Um... Mood. She loves black coffee. She likes comfort food. She's optimistic about her journey. She was recently hugged. Eat, ate a meal she likes. She's in good mood. Okay. Hug? No, no, no. She doesn't want no more hugs. All right, all right, all right. Let's get out. Oh, no. Get out of here. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, I hear you, birds. Mastine Cove discovered. Hello. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Yeah? Ah, yes? Forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Something technically. Uh, that being said, uh, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me, waking up at this on time has never been my forte. You can ring that bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do that at the right time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Have a good night. That's not a seasonal thing, that's a uh, daily thing. Let's go, kitty. To the uh, the cove to find, I'm assuming some limestone. Limestone and I think it was wood was the other thing. What is that? Ooh. Ah. Okay. Oh, I thought you were taking a nap. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. The best way to get the wood you need, actually. Don't worry, they'll regrow it over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Oh, why? Okay. Oh, I do it. Okay. <laughs> Watch out, kitty! Watch out! Well done, thanks. Get some bushes here as well. Raspberries. Hello. Congratulations. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Chokes aside, that's how you do it. Go on ahead. Cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat, build the field maple log with the maple logs. Okay. Now go take your nap. Any more cuttable trees? This is a cuttable tree. Come on, kitty. Alright, so I'm using A and D back and forth. Look at that. The cat. Okay. Ooh, what are you? Aha! Hold E as long as possible. I mean, I can hold it a long time. Okay, I see what you mean. I can hold E for a long time. Oh, I did not! I, I released it. <laughs> okay. I can handle this. I got it. I got it. There we go. That it? I think that's it. Alright. Well, uh, I guess we'll come back. I'm quite, quite the swimmer. Let's go back. Come on, kitty. And I guess we'll run back and, uh, well, we're gonna go build a thing. Oh, hey. No, no talk? Okay. All right. Take your nap. Okay, we'll, we'll navigate in a moment, but we want to build a this thing. We need to get some lightning in a bottle, which I remember that one. Okay, so let's go build a field, and uh, I guess it's gonna go 
I don't know where it's going to go. Up here, I suppose. Is that going to be leave room for other things? Yeah, hey, we'll put it there. It, like it, should be, it should be high, it seems like, but it's fine. Let's get there. And let's go plant some things. If we can. Uh, I have no grain seeds. I have, I have nothing. Okay, I'm assuming we have to go chat with her to get some seeds. But she is, she's not asleep. She's just standing right there. Hey, you okay? Hmm. All right. We have to wait till the daytime, till we ring the bell there, and we're only halfway through. So, I think this is probably a very good time to call it a day. That's what we're going to do. So this is Spirit Fair. If you want to see more of this one, just let me know, and we may continue more of this one. It's a, there's a lot to it. Uh, it's a long game, but um, we'll see how far we can get. We may just turn this into like a live stream thing. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.